autism and anxiety. Uh, God, I lost that immediately. I don't even think the mic picked it up. Eh, there's my phone. Too low of a bass. Uh, okay, there we go. It's like a burp, but painful. I used to know how to do good gutturals, but I can't do them anymore. I can only do it the way that it hurts your throat. I, well, like, I knew how to do the way that doesn't. Yeah, I the, never could the figure The diaphragm. The diaphragm. The diaphragm. The dolphin. The diaphragm. The dolphin organ. Diaphragm. Flop. Flop. The fraggle rock organ. Fraggle, fraggle. Fraggle swag. <laughs> there we go. That was kind of it. <sighs> no, not at all. You, you can't use your throat, man. You gotta use the diaphragm with them. Your diaphragm. Right. Right. For people who don't know, we're saying diaphragm. Uh, uh, that was actually pretty decent. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, uh, even more deep. You guys are okay. Just turn, uh, turn into caveman talk. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're not giving it, it. You're not giving it enough. Lost it. That one lost it. I don't, I don't like this. Uh, if you talk like this, the mic ain't gonna pick you up. I talk like this. Because I got the piss. Yeah, I used to freestyle caveman rap, but I needed like a good stick to add bass and I don't want to slam on the desk. And like a two piece or a two inch thick slice of wood. Yeah, and a on stick. A fire. On a fire, yes. Yeah, and anyway. fire. You need fire. You we cannot set fire in the studio, sadly. <laughs> Equipment does not take kindly to burning. Oh my god, I messed up on this part so Don't many times. Don't move! Move, 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 move. No, the thing is, is you kind of have to sometimes. I've literally put the controller down. At, I got pissed because I've uh, messed up like four or five times. Mm -hmm. I put the controller down and it's still messed up. So like, I actually feel like I have to move like to correct it. Because I put the controller down, which I mean it does vibrate a little bit. Ah! There we go. Finally. I was, I was too late. Uh, I'm thinking <sighs> pizza or peanut butter to tell a sandwich. Well, well, that's a weird, like, what? I heard pizza. pizza and or a peanut butter and Nutella sandwich. Yeah, but usually people are like, you know, okay, maybe pizza or like spaghetti. You know, something that kind of, you know, goes with one or the other. Something italic. Italian. Italics. Oh, well, like, uh, what's Italiano. It? Oregano. DiGiorno. Oh, not really a... Italian, but more like a tomato, like meat. <laughs> <laughs> I messed up. Oh well. She's like, uh. Really, and really enough, like it was a me. I wasn't trying. Like I just saw it, and I was like, oh, hit triangle. And on that day, <laughs> and I still messed up. The world had learned that missing the goddamn triangle button <laughs> would cause a butterfly effect. I can't even remember how the damn theme went. Which is the butterfly effect? It's an old movie. Butterfly. Sure. It is a butterfly effect. Slam his face into the electronics. So it was like itchy bun. They throw butter. Butterfly. Mom killed me when mom made fried rice, and I was like, she's like, I tried to. Aye, aye, aye. No, she put actual peanut butter in it. Ew. I was like, what? Because at Itchy Bond, they say they put peanut butter in it. It's not actual peanut butter. Well, I mean, it is, but it's Just like... peanuts and butter. It's made a certain way. You can see it in the Oriental section, probably at your grocery store. Now, you put in your rice, and et cetera, et cetera. I mean, I was like... I, bl I think it's butter made with peanut oil. I don't... I think that's how it works. Anyways, but they I, say it's peanut butter. And she's like... It's pretty much. I was like, you put, like... You know, Peter Pan peanut butter <laughs> on fried rice. The hell is wrong with you? Peter Pan, a Western pirate, cannot mix with Japanese food. He's basically a pirate. He's. You ever read the books? He's a pirate. When you're but, in Neverland, you're never a pilot. Yeah, you can pirate. never be a pilot. You can never be a pilot. You're always a sequel. And it's always bad. Technically, he's always the pilot. He's always the only one flying. He's also the bombardier. Like when that game they made bombed. Well, they no. freaking knocked. Bell is the one that gives him the power to fly. Actually, no. Peter Pan can fly on his own. True enough. You've never read the books, have you? No, I've only watched uh, the Robin Williams. Tinker Bell gave You've really his... only seen the Robin Williams movie? Yeah. yeah. You've never even seen the old one? Yeah. Yeah, Tinker. Scary. 
Tinkerbell only gives uh, like the every like uh, Emily and them or whatever their name is gives them the power to fly. She's also capable of giving the Lost Boys the power. Exactly. And but she's no. also a tiny whore. <laughs> okay. No, dude. Like that. Yeah. Books. She's a. She a hope. Yeah, she is. Hey. hey. Peter Pan and the guy who the in a cult outfit. Bond. Chris Bond. Chris Boom. Nah, man, it's a... Uh, Boom. Chris Boom. God, who did Punked? I don't remember. Ashton Kutcher. Kutcher? Yeah. But Ashton it's, Coochie. But it's uh, Chris Kutcher. <laughs> you know what? If he was ever a chick, I'd call him Ashy Coochie. Ashy Coochie. Yes. That'd be a good feminine name for Ashton Kutcher. Ashton Coochie? No, Ashy Coochie. Oh. It's an Ashy Coochie. It's a Coochie full of ash. Probably Ash Ketchum. You know that boy gets around. I saw this thing where someone did like uh, math and they went through and look, blah, blah, where he picks up a, basically an entire tree, like, well, it's like a log, but it's basically a tree, by himself and like throws it. Who, Ash? Yes. And they show a Pokemon, uh, like he's holding up, like it's a bird Pokemon, so he's uh -huh. like on his arm. And, you know, they go through, you know, Bulbapedia or whatever to find out how much it weighs. Mm -hmm. And it weighs, I don't remember, like, what, 64 kilograms or whatever. Jeff. Yeah, but it's heavy as hell. And it shows him picking up Pokemon that are, like, 300 pounds and all this. And they're like, how strong is he? And someone had an action figure of Ash. I don't know where the hell they found it or what. But anyways, they lifted up his shirt and he has, like, six-pack abs. And they're like, freaking Ash Ketchum is ripped. He did try to punch Mewtwo in the movie, though. <laughs> that one you can only be so ripped for. Sure. He did, uh, However, he you did. You gotta give as much crap as people give Ash. You gotta give him credit. He did try to think, you know. Oh, screw everything else. I'm gonna run up and punch the most powerful Pokemon in existence. You know what? He should have been the one to fight in the debt. Honestly, he <laughs> really should have, because Ty was the anime hero. Why um, would you pick Red, the video game hero, to fight the anime hero? Secretly, Ash Ketchum. Sure. Steroids. That makes sense, actually. Yeah, and I mean, Ash would fight back instead of Red. Be like, "What are you doing? <laughs> We're supposed to be back." I don't know what he said, so sure, yeah. Yes, yes I do. I am actually Ash Ketchum in 30 years. So, basically today. I'm still a 10-year-old boy, just starting out on my adventure. And for I, the 18th time. I know, like, honestly, I know, I know a lot of people talk, like, talk crap about that, but some people like that it's still Ash. I wish he would change, though. Like, he starts growing, I don't know, maybe a beard, and he starts showing that he's I, older. I wish he would take over the role of Brock. Like, oh, like he the would gym leader? No, that he would be your following companion teaching you and guiding you, because Brock was more or less the guy who, like, taught the two of them yeah. how to do things. Yeah, more or less. He was an awesome cook. Yeah, he was I mean, also he was, a heck of a breed. Yeah, he was the one who fed yeah. them. He uh, Yeah. And he explained how the gyms work because he yeah. was a so gym leader. So, like, Ash should become the new... So technically, like, Misty was, too. Ash should be a role model. Like, he should become the role model uh, to the newest... Value both. See, this is one of those ones that I'm like... You have to choose. Uh, honesty. Lesbians. Because loyalty, sure, but if you lie to me, then I can know just to, you know... Fuck you, you're a liar. You're a trifling you, You're not house. loyal. You're not loyal, then. If you're not honesty, you're not being loyal. Well, now you got your chance, because nobody gives a crap about charity. Well, like... I don't want anyone's pity. And I know a lot of people might see that as being charitable, but... It's not charitable, but whatever, that's how I'm seeing it. Charity is overrated. Okay, so what do you guys think? Pizza or Nutella peanut butter sandwich? I'm really just saying. Um, does either come with a side of fries? I don't think we have fries, but if we do, I might. Then perhaps. Mm, I don't care. Previously on Until Dawn. Trademarked. <laughs> Trademarked. It was just a prank, Han! Oh I'm gonna God. kill these kids. Uh, I need to. Oh my God! Um, crap. Huh? Where's a pin? And I have paper somewhere. Um, I won't even say it. Okay, I'll say it just because of old habit. But, uh... <coughs> you good? Yeah, I'll be alright. Um, System's kind of overwhelmed today. Future me put uh, the trademark thing on the uh, Until Dawn from on YouTube from now on. 
<laughs> it's kind of great. Go just, back and re-upload the first episode. I don't have to. I just go and change it. Oh, well, there you go. I'm just talking about the name. So you can write it down later. I'll tell you when this episode's right. done. <laughs> well, I'm like, it's to remind me because I usually do uh, the rendering in the morning. No, like, we can worry about the paper then. Oh, my God. I usually have sticky notes. I have no idea where they are. I'm Steven. What? What are you guys doing? Apparently, he's Steven. Apparently, he's Steven. <laughs> Chapter 3, Isolation, 8 hours until dawn. Oh, that's the gimmick of this. I always wondered why the title was called Until Dawn, but I just did it, not care it, enough yeah. to find out. It's been until Dawn. If you Turns can... out it's a 24 ripoff. <laughs> what didn't this thing do that was uh, so I can think of a lot of other like movies. Yeah, but 24 is the, the one that's funny concept. enough. Din, 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 din. Uh, feast. Din. feast? Yeah. The first one. Yeah, the first one. I don't know what Feast of... is. Well, not really. wasn't waiting until morning. That was kind of like hopeful thinking. Well, was waiting like, to morning. We make it till morning. We can see where they are, and we can get out. Yeah, okay, because you can see them. Abracadabra. Other than that, it wasn't really like, oh, once it's morning, we're a hundred percent. She's staring good. at you, Austin. The one's like, hey, get get your shit together. We well, got a game to play. The one thing, yeah, because we're totally playing. The one thing I do love about that movie is like, you know how they introduce everyone. It, the guy comes in, he's covered in blood, he has a gun. He's like, well, one's like something, something. The hero, not even, not joking. Anyone who hasn't seen that movie, within t like fifteen or twenty seconds after he's introduced, he's killed. <laughs> Like, immediately. Then, like, the girl he was with comes along. Yeah, then the girl he was with comes along, and I think she's, like, the true hero or something. I think I actually do remember this. It is, it is gory as hell. It is sick, is how gory it is. Were they all in a bar? Yeah, they're all in a Okay, yeah, we all watched this in your living room. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. really watched it. Yeah, no, I remember oh, yeah, that. It is disgusting. I've it forgotten is, what it was called. But but yeah, that's a great movie. Like, it is so funny. It's, it's a movie you don't need to take serious. Uh... But, uh, and then Feast 2 is even more fucked up, and then 3 is pretty bad, too. And I never could find 2. Oh, no, I know, you can find 2. Anyway, we're going to take a small little break. Ryan wants to eat. I want to talk a joke. Let's do things. Next time, bye-bye. Not Game Grumps. In a world. Fuck you. I say next time, that's my thing. <laughs> we totally didn't rip off people with way more subscribers than us. That's clearly the idea here. <laughs> I'm gonna kill one of you. Probably her. Actually, she survived a minor. Hmm. Go figure. <laughs>